Has your subject been trained on how to evade surveillance? Did they do the classic make four turns around the block move? If so, they may have made you. Your surveillance may have been compromised. Hi, I'm Adam Biznick, founder of Gravitas Investigations. And today we're gonna to talk about the reason you got burned. You took too many turns with your subject. This is part 11 of the 20 part series where I explain the ways a surveillance operative can get burned and how to avoid it. Let's take another trip into the field on surveillance later, so stay tuned for that. A good way to get burned is to make too many consecutive turns with your subject, especially if you're immediately behind them. If they're spotting you making turns both left and right while behind them, it was a dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. In counter surveillance, a good way to ditch a tail is to go round in circles even when you don't need to. A quick Google of counter surveillance and that'll be the tactic you'll find. And of course, four right turns brings you right back where you started. Easy enough, right? Well, here are three ways to not only counter that, but counter any type of counter surveillance. One, cut the corner. Let's say your subject's about to make a right-hand turn, they put on their blinker and they make the turn. If that turn has a gas station or pharmacy at the corner like many streets, you can make the turn before they even go. Then, assuming you can exit on the other side of that corner lot, weave through the gas station and then pull in right behind them. Get a buffer car if you can. You're taking a risk in losing them, sure, but the bigger risk is getting burned. It's much different if it's a left-hand turn. You won't have that opportunity, which is why it's a rule of thumb, probably, to establish only if you're turning right. Two, use parallel streets. This applies much easier if you know the streets well. Remember our last video on having your navigation up at all times? And this also works well in big city streets. Think New York City, where the streets run parallel to one another all the time. And you can peer over one block to see if your subject has gone through their light and continued on. Now sure, using parallel lanes, it's tough to pull off, especially with heavy traffic. You risk getting stopped by lights or blocked in by other drivers. So I recommend using parallel lanes if you have two or more surveillance operatives. Three, the U-turn. As your subject's about to make a left-hand turn, pass by them. As they exit your rear view, do the U-turn and make the right-hand turn to get right back behind them. Smooth as butter. All right, next up, we're gonna to try to do that move where my subject will be making a right-hand turn. Let's, let's assume that this black car that just passed me is my subject, and let's hope that they make a right turn on this main road. It looks like they're getting in the turn lane, which is perfect. So now they're getting in the turn lane. I don't wanna make a right turn with them, so I'm gonna to try to go down this little side road here, see how they're turning. I'm gonna turn right now, and I, now I'm also on a parallel road. We're gonna go over a couple speed bumps here. Boom, boom. Uh-oh. Now the problem is we've got two cars right here. Now gonna be three waiting for me. But here we go. We're gonna make, we got lucky. We got lucky there. We're gonna make this right turn. And they, my client, my subject, I mean, is as you'll see here, gonna be making um, stop the light so they're actually stopped right here so let's pretend like that was our subject the white van that we just passed by well I'm gonna make a u-turn up here so I'm gonna speed up I'm taking a huge risk here I might actually lose them and I can see in my rear view mirror that they're literally making the left hand turn right now so as I'm going to circle back around, I got to go super fast here. And this is a bit dangerous. Flip a Yui. And then get right back on the highway. Step on it a little bit. And I can actually see that they just got on the actual highway portion of the road. So I'm just now getting on the highway. I'm going to go about 70 miles an hour roughly to get back behind them. And I can see them. They're maybe 400, 500 yards away. There's 
about three cars in between my car and theirs. I also know, based because I have, I would have my GPS unit on, that the next exit is a couple miles away. So I've got maybe two to three miles to catch up to them. I'm keeping my eyes on the highway horizon for cops, state troopers looking to pull people over. And here we are now on. There's no cars in between us, and I'll get right up here close so you can tell how quickly that was. It's, that was done in about 60 seconds. Now, of course, if we were on the highway, I wouldn't be getting this close. There wouldn't be any need for me to do that. And here we are, right behind the car. And also, you can tell there's a cop over here to the left. There always is on this highway anyway, but I mean, that's an example. You gotta be watching out for everything, not just cops, but other drivers, all that kind of stuff. What do you think? Can you use any of these techniques on your surveillances? Look for part 12 of the series next time, the reason you got burned, not using a buffer car. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, I'll be watching you.